Hi guys, how are you? Uh, I am Atikur Rahman, NAW Certified DevOps Engineer. So today I am going to show you how you can uh, set an auto scaler for your uh, Kubernetes cluster. So I am in AWS and I'm going to use EKS and I'm going to set the auto scaler for the EKS. But first let's create an uh, EKS cluster using EKS CTL. I'm in my cloud shell. So cloud shell by default don't have EKCTL. So let's just install the EKCTL for the cloud shell. And then we are going to uh, do the other things here. So I'm running in AP South one that is Mumbai, which is nearest to my current location. If you are in a different region, choose the region that is nearest to you. So then EKS CTL create cluster. It will take around 10 minutes time. So I'm going to pause the video for a bit and then come back when it's done. Okay, I'm back and it seems that my cluster creation has been completed. So it seems all good. Let's go here, refresh this screen. Go to the details, and uh, there should be a log, uh, sorry, a node group, and two nodes running. That's good. So our initial work is done. Now let's um, clear this screen. So we want to uh, update the to AWS AWS update. Keep config. Uh, the region is it be south so one. And the name is, uh, is the name beautiful gopher. Okay. So this is updating the local people. Now, there is an uh, official documentation from AWS that how you going to set up auto-scaling. So I'm just going to give you the gist. So what it says that it has some prerequisites. The first prerequisite is like you need to create an IAM YDC provider. So if I open this link, create an IMDC provider using EKSCTL, that's pretty simple. Just copy these three lines, paste it in a notepad. And there are some values that you need to replace with your cluster name. That's it. So if you just copy the new cluster name and if you expand here, you just replace my cluster with the cluster name. So just copy these three lines and then you can run it here. Okay. This message says that I am open ID connect provider per faster is configured that's good so that's being covered now let's uh, see we have these three levels enabled or not in our scaling group so let's go to ec2 and we have to go to the scaling section which is like scaling groups and then it is loading. <clears throat> Here is the scale details. If I expand it, so here are the tags. According to the documentations, that this tag needs to be true. Let's see. This is true and here my cluster should be replaced with the cluster name so beautiful grofa and owned so both these two tags are enabled or available now if these two tags are not available your auto scaling will not work so this is kind of an important thing but if you have created your cluster using EKSCTL, those tags are automatically added so just don't worry about it if you manually create it, then always add those things. 
then what I have to do is create an IAM policy. So this part I have already created an IAM policy. It's pretty simple. Just you copy this thing and replace your cluster name and then go to IAM and create the policy. If you haven't created, I, you can just create it. There are two options available. One that is uh, by manually or via the command line. Let me just show you what is this. I'm just going to copy this and go to I am policies. And then search here. Go to the details. Oh, 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 sorry. I had to delete it because uh, this policy actually was created for other cluster. Okay, the cluster name is different. So yeah, it's it's actually better to be deleting this. I should be deleting it. There's the policy button. Delete it. Okay. That was a good lesson. So yeah, I forget that to delete it. So previously I created for another cluster. So if you are created for a other cluster, you need to create the policy again. And either you can do that by creating, giving a different name, like um, Amazon EKS cluster out of your policy and then append the cluster name. Or you can just delete the old one and create the new one. What I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, use the same naming, but uh, I have deleted that. So now if I'm going to uh, create the policy here, there are two ways. So you can do it via the console or via the CLI. Let's copy this <clears throat> JSON. And here is the cluster name that we are going to replace. Okay. Mm -hmm. Next, I'm going to give it a name. Okay, so the policy is being created. Let's go here and let's see the JSON file. So this is the JSON, looks okay to me. This is the policy ERN. We need this policy ERN. I'm going to show you where we need. So uh, once we created the policy, then we need to create an IAM role or IAM service account. So we are just going to copy this part and then what we have to replace is uh, one, the cluster name. So this is the cluster name that we have to replace and it's the policy ARN. So if you just copy the policy ARN, then you can replace it here. So uh, it should be okay. Now let's copy this, run it here. So this is create a, creating a service account and it is done via CloudFormation template. So as you can see, a CloudFormation stack has been created and then you can view it, the progress in the CloudFormation console as well. So had some progress, if you refresh it, it's still in progress. It takes around one or two minutes time, that's not a big deal. So while it's being created, let's move on to our next section. The next part is uh, this area. So we have to uh, kind of like download this file and then replace our cluster name and run this clip button app like that. So let's click here.
Yeah, it's done. So let's try to wait here. Okay. So let's see if we have already downloaded it once. If not, then I can just download it here. So here is the file, that's VI. What we have to do is we just need to replace the values where it says my cluster. Here it is. And We are just going to replace it with our cluster name. Paste it here. So uh, then we just need to run this put button apply command. That should be okay. Running. Okay, here we have automatically created those things. That's all looks okay. Now let's try to uh, edit this area. This will edit the <coughs> YAML file again. And here, what we have to do is, we just need to add two more lines here. If we go at the end, where my cluster name is there. So we are going to add uh, this line. And this line. So these two lines we need to add. And that's it. So now let's copy this command. And there is one variable here, let's n. So we need to go to this. Uh, releases area where uh, we have the releases. So we need to find our cluster version, which is 1.24. And we need to find the latest releases regarding 1.24. So if I go here, regarding 1.24, we have 1.25, 1.26, 1.27, 1.28, 1.29, 1.30, 1.31, 1.32, 1.33, 1.34, 1.35, 1.36, 1.37, 1.38, 1.39, 1.40, 1.41, 1.42, 1.43, 1.44, 1.45, 1.46, 1.47, 1.48, 1.49, 1.50, 1.51, 1.52, 1.53, 1.54, 1.55, 1.56, 1.57, 1.58, 1.59, 1.60, 1.61, 1.62, 1.63, 1.64, 1.65, 1.66, 1.67, 1.68, 1.69, 1.70, 1.71, 1.72, 1.73, 1.74, 1.75, 1.76, 1.77, 1.78, 1.79, 1.80, 1.81, 1.82, 1.83, 1.84, 1.85, 1.86, 1.87, 1.88, 1.89, 1.90, 1.91, 1.92, 1.93, 1.94, 1.95, 1.96, 1.97, 1.98, 1.99, 1.10, 1.11, 1.12, 1.13, 1.14, 1.15, 1.16, 1.17, 1.18, 1.19, 1.20, 1.21, 1.22, 1.23, 1.24, 1.25, 1.26, 1.27, 1.28, 1.29, 1.30, 1.31, 1.32, 1.33, 1.34, 1.35, 1.36, 1.37, 1.38, 1.39, 1.40, 1.41, 1.42, 1.43, 1.44, 1.45, 1.46, 1.47, 1.48, 1.49, 1.50, 1.51, 1.52, 1.53, 1.54, 1.55, 1.56, 1.57, 1.58, 1.59, 1.60, 1.61, 1.62, 1.63, 1.64, 1.65, 1.66, 1.67, 1.68, 1.69, 1.70, 1.71, 1.72, 1.73, 1.74, 1.75, 1.76, 1.77, 1.78, 1.79, 1.80, 1.81, 1.82, 1.83, 1.84, 1.85, 1.86, 1.87, 1.88, 1.89, 1.90, 1.91, 1.92, 1.93, 1.94, 1.95, 1.96, 1.97, 1.98, 1.99, 1.100, 1.101, 1.102, 1.103, 1.104, 1.105, 1.106, 1.107, 1.108, 1.109, 1.110, 1.111, 1.112, 1.113, 1.114, 1.115, 1.116, 1.117, 1.118, 1.119, 1.120, 1.121, 1.122, 1.123, 1.124, 1.125, 1.126, 1.127, 1.128, 1.129, 1.130, 1.131, 1.132, 1.133, 1.134, 1.135, 1.136, 1.137, 1.138, 1.139, 1.140, 1.151, 1.152, 1.153, 1.154, 1.155, 1.156, 1.157, 1.158, 1.159, 1.160, 1.170, 1.171, 1.172, 1.173, 1.174, 1.175, 1.176, 1.177, 1.178, 1.179, 1.180, 1.181, 1.182, 1.183, 1.184, 1.185, 1.186, 1.187, 1.188, 1.189, 1.190, 1.191, 1.192, 1.193, 1.194, 1.195, 1.196, 1.197, 1.198, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1.199, 1
uh, here in the node group, we have defined minimum and maximum. So actually, if we go into the node group details and click edit. So we have maximum to desired to minimum to. So there is no option to scale. We need to set min to like zero. Desired that will be updated via our autoscaler script or image and the maximum size, let's make it five. So this with this gives a room to scale, right? So if you always like uh, set the value to mean desired max, all these two, then there's no scope to scale up or down. So we give a row, minimum side make makes zero, max is make five, and then desired two. Desired will be updated based on your resources consumption. So let's save this. <coughs> Now, um, what we have is, now we might see a scale down because uh, it's true, but I think after a certain time it will become down. But another thing we can do, we can run a pod. So let's check here, this deployment group. So this is a uh, very simple deployment that the PHP Apache is deployed with a public image. And then this is created a service. I created replicas 20. So what we'll do here is that it try to create 20 pods out of it. And each of the pod has like CPU 500 millicore. So like 20, you need 500 into 20, that means 10,000. And uh, till now we had two M5 large, which is mostly four core, four core, eight cores. So it will <coughs> spin up a new instance. <clears throat> Let's try to do that. But before that, let's update my config config. AP South One, which is Mumbai. Okay. Now kubectl apply minus a d dot yaml and let's see. Okay, this has been deployed. Now if we see here, it's like kubectl uh, get pods. We will see list of pods that are in painting step. Why? Because there is not enough resources. So uh, we have to scale up. And if we see our EC2 instances and also this log. So here we will be able to see that it is scaling. Uh, it should automatically scale up. So uh, here we have. Like you see only running one, two, three or four is running because based on our limitations but others are in, in a pending state so keep in mind that we have a uh, lack of resources only two instances but now we have three and if we go here it's suddenly spin up a new one this is initializing so you see that's initially we had two but now it's three and if we let's say make it like uh, not 20 let's say make it 200 What's going to happen? Nothing will happen. We have our max is five, so it shouldn't go more than five, but you will see that it spins up five. So it's speed up now 200. And if we see get PO, it should trigger 200. It is, yeah, it is all are pending. That's not a big issue, but it spun up 200 pods and now what is our situation we should immediately see there is two more spinned up and we have maxed up our five so that's that's very smart you see that now we have five but it cannot go more than five why because we have set a max limit here the max capacity is five so that's why it cannot go more than five but I think that's the point that we need to set a max limit. Otherwise it can blow up your whole account. So 
anyway set a maximum it always to avoid this kind of unplanned events and uh, then you you max you certainly know that your uh, cluster will not scale more than five this m5 large so that's being said now let's try to do the opposite so now you i'm going to delete that because that's nonsense to run 50 apache delete minus f d dot yaml mm -hmm. clear the screen you cut get po it's all terminating you see and uh but for termination i think it takes a few more seconds to actually a few more minutes for uh, whole process to terminate i think it's yeah it's in the process of termination but the instance termination i think it should be done within one or two more minutes because yeah they, they try to avoid kind of killing something so it's a kind of they want to have a soft landing okay there is no pod here so there is no real reason to have five more instances running so it should be i think started to terminate pretty much But I think there is a grace period, but I have to check where what is the grace period here. So after a certain time, when they have ensured that there is no such new requests, uh, not much enough resources required, CPU consumptions, then they will certainly delete all those things. So I'm going to pause uh, for a few minutes because then we know certainly that these are deleted automatically. Okay, so we have come back here and we are seeing that a uh, lot of instances are shutting down or terminating. So looks like our process of photo scaling is working. So we scaled up, scaled down, and then based on our uh, application requirement, this becomes highly scalable. So that's it for today. I hope you like this video. If you like, please subscribe to my channel and then uh, let us let me know what kind of videos you want to see when I'm going to create those. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye bye.